Hey friend, this is Anil and in this video, we will learn how we can create identity table in SP.NET Core. So this is part one for SP.NET Core Web API. And here you can see SP.NET Core Web application. Just click on this and click on new. And here I'll say identity table using entity framework by sp.net core web api okay so i already told you in my previous video that everything we will cover that how we can create these identity table so in this video i will let you know how we can create identity table and in my next video i'll let you know how we can register a user and after that we will discuss how we can log in uh, a user and how we can get the authentication uh, authentication token so here the application here you can see we have an option for empty and api web application so we are going to create a, a api i don't want to configure https just click on create button yes yeah, so application has been created now we have to install few plugins so let me open NuGet package manager and here you can see we don't have any plugin now first we have to install jwt bearer jwt bearer and the second is microsoft sp.net core dot identity core dot identity and the third one is sp.net core dot identity dot entity framework core click on install button the last one will be microsoft.identity.framework.core.tools click on install button okay now our plugin has been installed here what we have to do now we will create a folder in our solution add a folder that authentication okay and in this authentication folder we have to create a application user class right and this application user class will inherit by identity user and this identity user we have to add a sp.net core dot identity namespace the next one we have to create application db context i will let you know what is the use of these classes application db context so let me inherit this application db context by identity db context so this is exist in sp.net core dot entity framework okay now we have to create application db context and inherit by this and one override method that is on modeling on model creating okay perfect so what will be our next step we have to go in startup.cs class and in the startup.cs class we have to uh, define our entity framework so here you can see startup.cs and in the configure service here i will add application db context okay application db context so for that use sql server we have to use one more nuget 
so that is microsoft entity framework code sql server so this is our last nugget yeah i accepted go in application user.cs so startup.cs and here i need to add a namespace microsoft.entityframework.core okay now what we have to do we have to create the identity okay so here let me create the identity so in this identity we are adding identity role so i will let you know in my next tutorial what is the identity role and the next one we have to add authentication So here you can see JWT bearer default dot authentication schema and the next one we have to add JWT bearer. So in the JWT bearer what we are doing here we are uh, taking valid issuer valid audience and valid audience and valid issuer so these things i will let you know while i will add connection string uh, in app setting.json okay fine so this is has been done now let me open my sql server and we have to create a new database So here I will give the database name tips by Anil. Subscribe my channel also. If you didn't subscribe my channel, click on OK button. So the database is empty and we have to create the tables, identity tables inside this database. So right now the database is empty. Now we will connect this data table with our Visual Studio okay so go here and click on connect to database and find our tips by demo underscore 12 test connection that is succeed click on ok button fine so the last step we have to move on app setting dot json so in the app setting dot json here we have this uh, database connection string and this is the JWT, JWT valid audience equals to user and valid issuer equals to your local host or whatever if you want put over here and this is the secret key that should not be less than 16 character okay now if I want to check the connection string so just go on the property and here is my connection string let me put this connection string over here and go to the property and debug in the debug, debug section you can see our local host so in the startup in the application dot setting dot json i can put my valid issuer now let me run this application one more thing i forget to tell you we have to create the schema for our tables so let me create one another folder over here that i'll put the migration whatever name you want you can provide over here this is the migration actually so for migration we have to put a migration command I'll go on the tool and I'll choose the package manager console so in the package manager console I will just 
add initials so whatever name you want provide you can provide over here so here you can see add migration so the same folder with the name of the initial all the table schema will be created here you can see the folder is empty but once this command will be done you can see the folder has been created over here okay so in this folder what's are in this folder all the tables spnet role spnet roles this it's a primary key all the table schema has been created over here automatic okay but still this schema is not created in our sql server if you will check the sql server the schema is still empty but we have to update one more command and now the schema will be created just hit the enter button once this command yeah command has been succeed now if i refresh this database then you will see the schema has been created over here right so this was our target that we want to create the identity table inside the database but still there is no user so in my next uh, video i will let you know how we can add a user over here how we can register a user and using the postman how can how we can register a user uh, into a database so if you want to check what we have did first we have added four plugins so these all are the plugins we have added here you can see the plugins and after that we have did a few changes in uh, auth uh, startup uh, dot auth okay here you can see startup dot cs class and in the startup dot cs class we have uh, added uh, entity framework in configuration service here you can see and here you can see we have added identity and here we have add, added authentication okay and here we have added jwt bearer here you can see okay and we have not did anything over here and after that what we have did we have a uh, created before that we have created application db okay and we have created application user okay and after that we have created a migration folder and we have run two commands one is add migration initials and one is update database for that these two tables has been created automatically and after that we have added app settings.json you can see over here right that's it okay so i think you like this video and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye